melt in your mouth, super tender beef, slowly braised in a beautiful sauce spiked with Vietnamese flavors. This is my version of Vietnamese beef stew. Vietnam has so many interesting dishes and I love this one because it's one of the ones that takes a little bit from French cuisine and that's owing to Vietnam's history of course. Um, and this is a really beautiful beef stew but flavored with amazing Vietnamese spices and aromatics. Oh, I love it. Anyway, let's get started on the all important marinade because that is gonna add a lot of the flavor that we're looking for. So I just need some lemongrass obviously not your usual suspect for a beef stew. Now to break this up I just want to hit this with the back of my knife and I always like to peel off these outer layers. They can be really quite firm, a bit hard and tough. Slice off the end. So now we're in the really soft part of the lemongrass and I'm just going to finally slice that. To that I'm going to add some fish sauce. some brown sugar and some Chinese five spice. So this is my homemade Chinese five spice. If you want to give it a try, you can watch the video on how to make it on my YouTube channel. I just love the fragrance of this. Mm. And when it's fresh like this, it really makes a big difference. Just give that a mix through. Now let's talk about the beef. Uh, I am using beef chuck and the reason is that I love this fatty marbling that goes right through that beef. You're really looking for a secondary cut of beef here because I want it to break down and all the fat and the little bits of sinew will get all gelatinous and soft and amazing. So that's the kind of beef that you want. You could use beef shin as well, uh, that would be a good one. And I'm just going to get that straight into my marinade. And I just give this a mix through and you will be surprised at how much fish sauce really emphasizes the flavor of the beef. When you go to fry this a little bit later on, the beef just smells beefier um, and the finished dish tastes beefier, I think. And it's all because that fish sauce just adds a bit of kick, savory kick or umami kick to the dish. Now you just wanna give that marinade time to do its work in there. About 30 minutes is good. So the beef has had its time to get extra beefy in that marinade, so now we're gonna start our stew. And just like any Western or French stew, we're gonna start off by browning the meat. So I want some oil into a hot pan. And now contrary to what you'll hear in a lot of different places, searing the meat is nothing to do with sealing in juices or any weird things like that. This is purely about flavor. So the reaction that happens on the outside of the beef, all the browning and all that beautiful color, that is the flavor that we want in our beef stew. So it's purely a flavor play here. Now don't overcrowd your pan here. If you need to do this in batches, that's fine. The important thing is that we're all about the color and the heat and the browning here. So once I've got that beautiful deep color on all sides of that beef, I'm just going to take it out into a tray. Okay, now any leftover marinade in your bowl, just pour that on top of the beef as well. And we'll get all of that back into the pan along with those resting juices a bit later. But first we want to fry off a few more aromatics. So I'm going to add a little bit more oil to the pan here. Don't wash the pan, just leave those lovely beefy juices in the bottom. Add in some garlic and some shallots. Now give those shallots time to soften up in the pan here. Use your spoon to scrape up any little bits of flavor from the bottom as well. Now I'm going to add in some tomato paste. Give that tomato paste a little time to cook out in the pan. Now I'm also going to need some ginger here. I just want some slices that are going to infuse the sauce. 
and some star anise and some cinnamon. Now add that beef back in and any of those juices. Just mix that beef around, get it coated in that tomato paste. Now we want to add in some carrots. And then some water. So I just want enough water that it sort of comes about halfway up that beef and carrot mixture. A lot of juice will come out of the beef as well. So I won't add too much. Now just wait for this to come back up to a gentle simmer and then you can put a lid on and you can do this two ways. So on the stovetop is fine, a really low gentle heat for a couple of hours or until that beef is really meltingly tender. I tend to find though that cooking this in the oven is a lot easier because sometimes you can overheat the beef as it's cooking on the stovetop because of that really hot heat underneath. I find the beef isn't as tender, so I'm gonna get mine into the oven. Now, this beef has been making my kitchen smell amazing. Let's take a look. All those beautiful spices, the star anise, the cinnamon, ah, oh, divine. Now, let's just check and see if that beef is ready. What I want is for that piece just to fall apart at the touch of my spoon. And there you go. Beautifully tender. Oh, so good. Now we'll just test the sauce for a little bit of seasoning. Let's just see. Mm. That is such a beautiful combination. You can't even really put your finger on all the different aromatics because they all just blend in so harmoniously. But the lemongrass is there and that beautiful star anise. Mm, so delish. I will add a little bit more fish sauce though for my liking. Just gently stir that through. Now we just serve that up in a nice big bowl. A little bit of coriander on top. Now this goes perfectly with steamed rice or my preference is a beautiful, nice, crusty French baguette. Just dunk that into that sauce. A little piece of beef. That is so heaven. Oh, so good. This is honestly beef stew, whole nother level. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks guys.